I remember some of the voices that were heard just after the original 9-11, just after the actual attack on the Twin Towers, September the 11th, 2001. Some of them were good. Some of them were the voices of unity and sanity and um, let's uh, pull together and get through this crisis. I think those are the voices that actually dominated, or predominated at least. There were other voices. One of the more disturbing voices that one heard in the immediate aftermath of the original 9-11 was the voice more or less of blame. Um, some people said, and they weren't all from the Islamic world, but many of them were, look America, this is what happens when you continue along the road that you're going on. We don't agree with this. We think this is bad. What has happened to you, in fact, it's horrific. It's the stuff of nightmares. But ultimately, you've brought this on yourself, at least in part. Now that kind of a statement can be read as a warning, i.e., mend your ways or there will be more of these. Warnings can just as easily be read as threats, saying that if you don't do as we say, there will be more of these. It's a very, very fine line between a warning and a threat. And a lot of people did not like the way a lot of those warnings were being phrased. It was almost as if they were saying, you haven't seen anything yet, America. If you keep down the road that you're going, this is going to be your future. 9-11. Many people remember that. I know that many people who said such things didn't mean it to be construed as a threat. But unless such statements are extremely carefully phrased, they are inevitably, in an atmosphere of fear, tension, and even paranoia, are going to be perceived as threats. Don't mess with us, America or the West, or else there's going to be bombs going off, or perhaps anthrax scattered everywhere. Again, the voices of sympathy from the Islamic world drowned these voices of threat out, but they were there. I remember them, and I think so do you. On the Western side, on the American side, there was a lot of soul-searching, a lot of let's pull together here and deal with this, let's find out what caused this. But concomitant to the somewhat threatening but muted voices coming out of the Islamic world, but not necessarily from the Islamic world, were other voices that said, okay, we've kept our cool this time. We've been hit in the face with something bad, and it's shaken us up, but we've kept our cool. We haven't reached for the powerful weapons that we have at our disposal. Let's not do that. And thank heavens, we don't have to do that this time. But just so everyone knows, if the Islamic world keeps on the road that it's going, there may be unanticipated consequences at the end of it. In other words, we have the means to deal with any potential threat. Just compare our arsenal to yours. Um, one would have to be crazy not to see the huge disparity there. And you've got to remember what the consequences are of provoking us. Now again, that could be a warning. That could be simple common sense. Someone saying, an ant picking a fight with an elephant is going to lose. And I'm not the only one who has actually uh, uh, used that term. In fact, it's a deliberate allusion to uh, someone else's metaphor of an ant fighting an elephant. I believe that's what it was. Now that is, one could say, stating the obvious. Um, the weapons at the disposal of one side, if one has to call these things sides, are negligible compared to the weapons available and the resources in general available on the other side. So it's insane to pick fights like this. But again, that can also be a threat. 
That's how Thunderfoot's video struck me. It was a threat. Thunderfoot's 9-11 um, uh, shock and awe video. Mess with us again, Muslim world, and we will unleash the dragon. We have weapons, the likes of which humanity can barely imagine. We need only snap our fingers and our enemies simply vanish forever. Why are you trying to provoke us? That is a threat. Threat and counter threat. Stay on the road that you're on, America, and there will be more 9-11s. That is a warning. It can be a threat. Stay on the road you're on, Islamic world, and you can't even imagine what the consequences will be. That could be a warning. That could be a threat. Both of those voices were heard in the original post 9-11. I'm not going to say that conflict is inevitable, but when people start to talk like this, we've got to understand where we're going. If we start threatening each other, no one can predict where we're going to be September the 11th, 2021. Hopefully, it'll simply be another commemoration of a terrible tragedy. May the victims rest in peace. Thank you.